Let me extend a warm welcome to our distinguished ministers and chiefs of defense. Thank you for joining us for today's 14th meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group. I'm Celeste Wallander, Assistant Secretary of Defense for International Security Affairs, and I'll serve as facilitator for today's contact group. I would like to thank Ukraine's Minister of Defense, Alexei Reznikov, for joining us again today. We value your presence and are looking forward to hearing your thoughts here shortly. So now please let me introduce Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin to deliver opening remarks. Well, thanks, Secretary Wallander. Good, good day, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us uh, for the 14th meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group. And uh, again, I'm, inspe I'm especially glad that we uh, are joined by our good friend, uh, Oleksiy Reznikov. Oleksiy, your leadership reflects the fierce determination of your people. Ukraine has inspired the world with its courage and spirit in the face of lawless Russian aggression. Russia's war of choice has now lasted more than 500 days. It was entirely unprovoked. It is entirely unnecessary and it is entirely unjust. Russia continues to bombard Ukraine's cities and no civilian is safe. And Russia's missiles, missile barrages and drone strikes have inflicted untold death, injury and trauma on innocent Ukrainian men, women, and children. But after more than a year of war, the whole world can see Russia's failure to achieve the goals of its war of aggression. Ukrainian people have shown deep resilience in the face of great cruelty. And Ukraine's forces continue to fight valiantly to defend their fellow citizens and their country. Ukraine's counteroffensive marks a key moment in this tragic war. Ukrainian armed forces have taken the initiative to regain control of their sovereign territory, but Russia's aggression against Ukraine has produced a highly volatile situation. Putin's war continues to take a terrible and bloody toll. As I've said, Ukraine's fight for freedom is a marathon and not a sprint. We supplied Ukraine with critical capabilities such as air defense and ammunition, and we're not going to let up. So this contact group has come together again to stand up for some crucial shared principles, sovereignty, human rights, freedom, and a refusal to live in a world where big countries can just invade their peaceful neighbors and redraw borders by force. So make no mistake, we will continue to move heaven and earth to get Ukraine what it needs. And this contact group is an ongoing testament to our shared resolve. And we will continue to stand with Ukraine's defenders as we have since the start of Russia's indefensible invasion. And we will continue to provide Ukraine with what it needs and when it needs it. And the United States will continue to support Ukraine as it strengthens its capabilities and fights to, in, to live in freedom and security. We will continue to provide training, equipment, and support to the Ukrainian armed forces to help build a capable and professional Ukrainian military that can defend itself now and deter aggression in the future. Earlier this month, the United States provided another security assistance package for Ukraine valued at $800 million. That package funds more air defense systems and munitions, as well as critical rounds of ammunition that Ukraine needs right now. We're also providing more Bradleys and Strikers and Javelin anti-tank anti systems and mine clearing equipment. This package underscores President Biden's deep commitment to support Ukraine for the long haul. And I'm proud that we are joined in this historic effort by so many staunch allies and valued partners. And we deeply appreciate the efforts that all of you have made to support Ukraine's right to live as a sovereign state. Recently, Norway committed to sending additional components uh, that will expand Ukraine's NASAMS air defense systems. And Germany will support a new package worth $770 million, 
which will include Patriot launchers and 24 Leopard tanks and 40 Martyr infantry fighting vehicles and 20,000 artillery rounds. In addition, France announced that it will provide Ukraine with scalp long range missiles. And Australia will send 70 additional military vehicles and much needed artillery ammunition to Ukraine. And ladies and gentlemen, Ukraine is fighting for its life. And the stakes are high, but this contact group has never shied away from a challenge. This is a profoundly important moment in the history of this war and of this century. And the United States will stand with Ukraine for as long as it takes. And so will this contact group. Together, we'll continue to move heaven and earth to let Ukraine defend its freedom. And so with that, I'll pause to let our friends and the media depart.